the prison is yeah. very far from where they from where they are now. Yeah, but I mean, regardless of how far it is, it's definitely within a distance that they could travel. And why they're going to have to do it eventually? They're going to have to travel further and further because they're not getting anything. You can't keep scouring the same plots of land hoping to find new things. Yeah, you do have to find. Well, you do have to go further to look for supplies for sure. But it's just not. Uh, it's there's just a lot of forest. There's a lot of forest though. That's the thing. There's so much forest in The Walking Dead. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. but I, I, I did. I have driven my fair share in the states, and yeah, there is a lot of forest too. It's still very fat, vast. It's just in that very regard. convenient though, because the forest you don't have to do any uh, cosmetic makeup to look like it's an apocalypse. <laughs> exactly. It's just like <laughs> it's a very cheap way to uh, shoot a series. And that's true. Uh, so Sasha is looking uh, at a hollowed out book with bullets and a key in it when Jesus uh, and Enid barge in on her as she tries to cover it up but jesus says she can have the bullets so i guess it's his book he knows about it uh but to please not go they have to fight together uh and then both, again yeah both he and enid urge her to talk to maggie she says she's still going to leave and gives enid a tattered piece of string uh, i don't then, know what, i don't know what, it, what, what, what <laughs> like did it fr- have before like a, was it a friendship I, bracelet i, I didn't something? even see her know. start it so i don't even know like that thing came out of nowhere yeah and she's like you can finish this and it's like well this is again not a thing to be doing when you should be planning for a war, if you have time to make friendship bracelets, you have time to uh, kill some saviors. Here's a, I want to go back on like before that when they're trying to, when they're talking when just when you were discussing about you know what she was about to do. Yeah. Okay, so we had we had our discussion last episode on what was the right way to go about it. But you see, she addressed the fact that like you know no, if anything goes wrong, you have to alert everybody else for what we're doing. Yes, she finally which is, does. She, 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 so she admits something. that she was supposed to do that. Yeah, Sasha is much better at this than Rosita. From what it seems, Rosita yes. does not care at all about anybody else at this else. point from what we thought sasha seemed to be better <laughs> yeah sasha at least makes that comment she's like you're gonna need everyone here for what happens next only here are the kingdom because that's where their biggest army is right not every not the kingdom and alexandria yeah. right <laughs> and yeah, the scavengers yeah. she doesn't but, know about the scavengers no but it'll be like, but that's even worse to me because now i know her character is aware of the recoil that's going to happen from killing negan and Maybe, she's yeah. you know it's one thing to just be blind about it and think everything was going to be fine for everybody else, but now she's making a um, a note saying, "Hey, things are going to be probably even worse after we kill Negan. We just want to do it to uh, satisfy ourselves." But in the end, the, the, the as we discussed further, though, they did intend to try to stay alive if they could have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rosita, Sasha the way I to... thought you you, would, you should do it, <laughs> like the way like I yeah. figured if you the way the, like, I feel like my right way if you're going to do that, do that properly, <laughs> and you yeah. know, but yeah, it is. Yeah, um, and all of this talking, Enid completely gets the wrong message here and says, I'm going to do what you told me. I'm going to tell Maggie in 10 minutes. <laughs> and, then and, like, I, and Sasha looked happy about it. Yeah, I know, because like, was she ready to go in 10 minutes <laughs> to evade Maggie? Well, yeah. Why well, she has to evade Maggie at this point? I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> like, after everything, even after Jesus says, you know, she deserves to know if you tell her. It's like, okay, Enid, you tell her in 10 minutes. Well, it's, the whole thing has gotten so construed and, because the whole reason that Maggie wasn't supposed to know was because they didn't want Maggie uh, fighting with them and working herself up because she was going to lose the baby. Dr. Carson was also, hey, Maggie, you should be doing nothing but lying down because your uterus will be torn. Right. Uh, and she's been doing a lot. Now, the whole thing, don't From tell seems- Maggie that we're going after Negan because she's going to want to help out and that baby's going to suffer because of it. I feel like that whole thing has been lost. Mm-hmm. I also feel like Maggie should have given birth by now. I also oh, yeah. feel that Maggie is not showing that she has a child. At all. Uh, the only way we could tell she's pregnant is that there's an ultrasound. That baby looks fully formed inside of her body. Versus what? Versus, versus Judith, the... Judith, you know, growing up so... Yeah, so... <laughs> Judith is, has aged three years in the time <laughs> that Maggie has been pregnant for, for nine months. <laughs> Is a serious as a it's like that. It's oh, it's like here. Bonnie from Family Guy. Like you know, she's always she's always pregnant. <laughs> it's like Bonnie, we're gonna have the damn baby. And like, yeah. the, like it's a show self aware though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's a show that can do that. And Walking Dead just wants to keep Maggie pregnant forever, <laughs> without, without showing, in, without showing. No, like, she's in her first trimester still. That's right. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> Except it's a fully formed. You know what the thing is that, like, you know, even the logic, like, this, I kind of get why, like, we've invested on so much, re- so much of the reason why Rosita's going to do what she has to do, but we're we didn't. I I don't see where Sasha has her angles. Like, yeah, I totally agree. We we have to go kill Negan. It's like, wait, wait, why do you agree so much? Because it's her unfounded uh, love for Abe. Yeah, that's right. Because they didn't portray it properly, so I can't buy into the fact that she's convinced to go as well. Yeah, I don't know. I thought she'd be the smarter one anyway. But yeah, well, we thought that for Rosita too. So. 
Yeah, we thought a lot of characters should be smarter than they are. <laughs> and, uh, a lot of people have been letting us down. Even Michonne, a few episodes back. Yeah. Big letdown. She wasn't the worst, though. No, but like someone, like she thinks Rick's dead and she's about to give up. Yeah. And then Rick throws a sword in midair to her. Yeah. The Army of Darkness safe. with <laughs> Almighty oh, One. Safe. Yeah. <laughs> been a lot of those. Uh, so, so luckily, the saviors show up. I say luckily because this way. They have Sasha, to move. <laughs> Sasha and Rosita are able to escape without Maggie seeing. So they escape through a secret tunnel near the fence. And the Sasha called them over. <laughs> yeah. Um, and what was that guy? That guy on the fence? He yells and it's like, "Saviors are coming!" <laughs> Wait, like, what was he batting? I was some sort of like yeah. He bangs them. on this big pot. I mean, that's got. I feel like the saviors wouldn't like that. Like <laughs> Simon is not going to be happy that you are hiding something. He's like, "Why do you need to announce that the saviors are coming?" If you have nothing to hide. I don't know. So, anyway, they do have a lot to hide. Maggie and Daryl have to hide in the basement. Yeah. Um, now, Gregory and Simon meet in the Barrington house. Simon wants to know where Daryl is. I like the little interaction they had here. Yeah. You know, again, with That Gregory, was the best way. That's the best thing we could take away from this. One of the best things to take away from this episode. Simon's. I like Simon. I, he slightly annoyed me a bit too much. He was starting to sound like Negan a bit. Yeah, yeah, he was. I, I was like, oh, man, just be Simon. Stop being Negan. I know I, you're Negan, but stop being Negan. Yeah, I didn't write down the whole conversation or really any of it, but I do like how Gregory said, you're a, a gin man, and then he ch- he changed his mind. He's like, a, no longer, like, now I'm a tequila man. Right. And he started talking about Who the his hell likes tequila? ideals and, you know, what he, you know, his, his tastes are ever changing, something like that. But he worded it very well. He did. And then he ended up saying uh, that he was a strange creature or something. He looks like a strange creature. Yeah, I don't know. He looks like a good guy, though. He doesn't seem like... He looks like a guy doing his job, who enjoys doing his job, but he's... he's. Do you think he's genuinely being nice to Gregory, or do you think he's doing it more as a joke? I just feel like he's... he's um... He he takes that friendly aspect. He wants you to be. You know, he wants to say like, you know, we're all doing this for a reason. You know, and and, and you know, you you you're doing great, and we're saving you. We're the reason why we do it. And I'm I know I, the only the only difference is that like I'm I'm nicer and I don't carry a bat, but don't make me bring out whatever I got. Yeah, you know that's 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 the tone he takes. I feel, but I, I like them better as a gym man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, he's, he's constantly changing. Yeah, uh, constantly changing creature with a. He's looking, uh, he, he looks like a creature. He looks like some sort of, like, bug. <laughs> like a praying mantis or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, a praying mantis. That was yeah, pretty good. stick bug. And don't forget, though, they're, 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 killed, they're killed by the female counterpart, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eat, eat the faces all right off. Eat the oh, heads. boy. Wait, wait till he meets his female counterpart. <laughs> no, 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 man. Rosie. <laughs> so, okay, we're getting back on track here. Well, yes. I mean, unless there's anything else you want to talk about that scene, Gregor really sucked up to him. But it didn't even. But uh, not even that much sucking on his part. Besides the besides the 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 bulb, the, the the whole gin part. Yeah. Other than that, like it's it, Gregory seems to be on like they show that he's on the same level as Simon. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's. You he's, know what I mean? Like they're like they're like, they're seeing eye to eye. Whereas last week there was a lot of tension. You know, he just took things. And now it's just like no, no, we're here for one reason. It's like oh, okay, yeah, sure, no problem. It's uh, and you know, he and he, Gregory actually actually looked more confident. Yeah. You know. That's yeah, the way yeah. I felt. So was, that's the, I, that's what I took away from that interaction. But it really looked like he was going to give give up Daryl and Maggie in this. I didn't even know they're there. <laughs> like every, every oh, time yeah. we saw Daryl, it was in the dark. So I don't know. It could have. <laughs> no, he knows they're there. And because yeah. Dar- the last line was, um, oh, uh, yeah. what's his name? I always forget his name. Simon saying you. Uh, this thing about you point your finger towards. Uh, uh, towards one of them, and I'll tell you what I'm looking for. Something weird like that. So it didn't we're, even we're happen, led, though. No, we're led to believe he's going to give up their whereabouts, but uh, just doesn't. Unless he was looking for the doctor, because that's really oh yeah, well, no, what you're right. Yeah, it was the doctor that they were looking for. Yeah, they but were, he yeah, was he being was... very vague. He was just being like, you know what I want. Yeah, they needed a doctor. Somebody. Yeah, they needed a doctor. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I completely forgot about that. No, that's that's a consequence for only watching it once. But yeah, yeah um, but, well, but it's okay. It's not worth watching it again. No way. Uh, <laughs> so Rosita and Sasha try to start a car. Uh, when Rosita spots the necklace that she made for Abraham around Sasha's neck, the you one that like Jesus it? gave <laughs> to Sasha, right? To remember Abe for his, Jesus just instigating the Jesus situation. starting stirring things up. Yep, starting riots here. She says uh, she's not interested in getting to know. Sasha, so just talk about the mission or nothing at all. 
Sasa, uh, Sasha, Sasa. No, she got all sassy though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, she she does this weird thing where she walks towards the camera. It looks like she's about to start crying, and she says, "Fine." And then she just starts talking about the mission. Yeah. Uh, she suggests they shoot from a distance and maybe escape with their lives, but Rosita doesn't want to take the risk of not finishing him off. She wants to make sure he's dead. Yeah. And she's also done talking about it. And Sasha says, good, now maybe you'll think about it. Uh, and Which is, I like that line, because Sasha needs to think about it. Like, hey, well, Father Gabriel has said the same thing to her. Like, just think about what you're doing. Stop for a moment. And she's not listening. She doesn't care. No. Uh, they also take out two walkers here in like the exact same fashion, yeah. in sync, and carry on like it's no big deal. Yeah, they don't. I don't like it. No, they're. I mean, they're showing they're comfortable and they're, they're very similar in uh, their styles too. Yeah, you, know, you want to show they're like they're getting... they're in sync, I guess, and that you know, yeah, uh, they're supposed they're, like you know naturally they should be on a mission, but they're not getting along. Yeah, they're well organized unit. <laughs> I don't know about well organized, but <laughs> not not very well organized. No, no but no. they can kill walkers. Yeah. Because uh, they have spongy heads. Uh, Enid tries distracting a savior with fresh veggies and is scolded for not calling them vegetables. Not taking the time to call Isn't them ve- Aren't vegetables. veggies a different thing completely? I don't think so. No? Veggies are just vegetables. Eh, I don't know. I thought that was a term that like referred to like you know a, a certain class of vegetables and you, you call them veggies. But uh, no, I could be completely just, wrong. doesn't matter. We don't have to go on this tangent. I just fruits and like... veggies, man. Legumes. That's a different term, isn't it? Yes. That's what I was mixing myself up with. There we go. There Sorry. Go. My bad. Uh, so she uh, she <laughs> drops those veggies. Savior orders her to uh, pick him up and give him her knife. And then he goes poking around in the basement. And Maggie and Daryl are in there hiding. Mm-hmm. They're looking ready to attack. That's like right. A, like a coiled snake. And Maggie looks furious when she sees that uh, he has Enid's knife. I guess she thinks maybe something bad happened to Enid. Right. But, uh, no, nothing, unfortunately. Nothing. Not a... He's Enid's, just looking in, in a... Enid's cellar. plan to distract him from going to the cellar did not work out, and she lost a knife out of it. Maybe him. that's why she just got pissed because Enid got him in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is, oh, damn it, Enid. <laughs> yeah. And what a weird thing for the, the savior to do is, like, we have the time. Call them vegetables. Like you're just like it's a strange thing for someone. It to does, say. yeah. I don't know. Are, is he trying to sound educated? I think they're trying to make it. They're trying to play it off for laughs. I think it's just another failed thing. It was just a weird. It just didn't be condescending, though. I guess. Yeah. It's a weird. That was a weird choice. Yeah. Uh, Simon visits Doctor Carson. Now this is the I suppose I guess the younger brother of the Doctor Carson. <laughs> Supposed. Well, I guess he's younger, right? He looks younger. Yeah. Got to be younger. The other guy was an old wrinkled mess. <laughs> Uh, oh, not anymore. <laughs> no, no, he's fried now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dr. Carson uh, from the sanctuary. Uh, it's, it's, it's a confusing detail. It's just a... Why have two doctors named Dr. Carson that are brothers that are living at different places that don't seem to have any contact with each other? Why do that? Well, did show, did, like, did, why, did why they bother? take one away? Wasn't that the point? What if no. at some point Hilltop had both of them and then the saviors took one away? Yeah, maybe it just it didn't. I didn't get the impression that this Doctor Carson cared about his brother very much because when he found out he died, he was just like, "Well, did he? I guess he did something to upset someone." Yeah, well, I he guess he wasn't seem, surprised, right? Yeah, it definitely didn't seem too too surprised by that. Uh, Simon says they'll be requiring his services indefinitely at the sanctuary, so he's going to have to go with them. Uh, and then, yeah, so when he was asked why Negan needs two doctors, Simon very expressly tells him that they don't. That was weird too. There's a long yeah. scene of him. Just being expressive. Why do you like being so ambiguous? What do you mean? I just they always they don't like, they always like it's like they beat around the bush a lot in the dialogue. Yeah, they like, do. Yeah. They we don't. Oh, okay, you know you want to you want to use your deducting skills right here. You want to <laughs> you know like, get it, doc. We don't need to. That means something happened to the other one. <laughs> yeah, and I mean it's also very. Uh, they're different doctors. One's a what an OBGYN. Mm-hmm. The other one is a. More of a medical, like it looks like, yeah, you could need two doctors. It's nothing. It's never going to hurt to have more than they're one. Really, doctor. They're really, yeah, they're really, really, you know, they're really like uh, putting. They're putting down the mes- medicinal uh, medicinal world <laughs> in this case. It's like you know, anybody could do. It. If you if you study some sort of type of medicine, you kind of know everything. Yeah, it's like, well, there's a reason well, why we have yeah. different doctors for different things. <laughs> yeah, but most doctors will go through the basic training of like. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, well, for medical. a checkup. I've gone to like a checkup and say, "Oh, here, go see this specialist," and he just give me and he just give me a note, you know. It's yeah, yeah, but you're still able. to... That's why they're able to identify. Um, I I suppose I suppose yeah. I I mean I suppose it's just 
know, but I've had some I've had some experiences with some clinic doctors, but that doesn't doesn't reflect on everybody though. No, but uh, one doctor is better than no doctor. That's true. And it's uh, yeah. you know they've gone through medical school, but people are like people are naive to think that like you know oh yeah it's the same thing. It's a doctor's a doctor, and that's that. But you know.